What is financial spread betting? It's an accessible alternative to conventional trading, which allows you to bet on whether you think a market will go up or down. You don't need vast sums of money, and since it's often real-world events that affect market prices, you probably know far more than you think about what drives the markets. You can spread bet on a huge range of financial markets from all around the world, including individual shares, stock indices, commodities, and currencies. With each market, you're presented with a buy and a sell price, either side of its real-world level, also known as the underlying market. If you think the market will move up, you open your bet at the buy price, also known as going long. If you think it'll move down, you open at the sell price, called going short. The difference between these two prices is the spread. The more the market moves in the direction you predicted, the more profit you make. Conversely, the more the market moves in the opposite direction, the more you'll lose. What is the process of making a bet? First, choose your market. Let's imagine that the price of the FTSE 100 has been falling on fears about economic growth. However, you believe there are encouraging signs in the economy and think it has fallen too far and is due to rise. For the sake of convenience, let's say the FTSE 100 price is currently 51.49 to 50. This means the sell price is 51.49 and the buy price is 51.50. Because you believe the FTSE 100 will rise, you need to buy at 51.50. How much do I bet? Financial markets are measured in points. You bet a certain amount per point, your stake. For example, £2. The amount you win or lose is the difference between the price you open at and the price you close at, multiplied by the amount per point that you bet. Do I need a deposit? With spread betting, you only need a small initial deposit. The exact size of deposit varies from market to market, but in this instance, you'd require 40 times your stake, which is £80. The deposit is only a small percentage of your total exposure. This is called leverage, which is one of the key benefits of spread betting. It is important to understand that you can lose more than your initial deposit. However, it is possible to cap your potential losses by using a stop order. This means that a bet will automatically be closed if it goes against you by an amount you specify. How long does a spread bet last? You may close a bet whenever you want. Your profit or loss is determined at this point. If you don't close it yourself, then your bet will close automatically at the end of the set time period, at the current market level. As you anticipated, the value of the FTSE 100 starts to rise. After a little fluctuation, the price rises to 52.75 to 76. You believe the price will continue to rise, so you hold off from closing the bet. However, instead the price falls and your profit starts to drop, so you decide to close the bet. At this point, the price is 52.50 to 51. To do this, you need to deal in the opposite direction. So you sell at 52.50. The difference between the original buy price and the new sell price is 100 points, giving you 100 times 2 pounds, which equals 200 pounds profit. Spread betting provides a tax-free way of trading financial markets with the flexibility to make money when markets are rising or falling. This video was brought to you by IG Index world leaders in financial spread betting. Spread betting may result in losses that exceed your initial deposit. Tax law can change and may differ in a jurisdiction other than UK.